with every obstacle, there comes an opportunity. And I decided to use my obstacle of not being able to rip any stadium club on release day as an opportunity to dive into the numbers and share with you guys all the secrets that I found. 2023 Top Stadium Club was delayed, but we finally have a release. Stadium Club is one of the longest running premium products in the business. And this year they're taking some of the things that make the release classic and adding a new flair to it. For example, we have a new compact box that has one autograph. The checklist is 300 players and it features a full bleed design as usual and spectacular photography. There are a good amount of parallels. We got red foil, black foil. There are exclusives to hobby, which is black and white. There is purple foil this year, which is hobby compact only. And there's blue foil, number to 50. We get design variations, which is a uh, different layout that goes with the 1991 stadium club design. And those are limited to 200 copies each. And rookie variations of the same only have 92 copies each. And then we get image variations, which only have 200 copies each as well. We have Chrome cards in here, and they have variations of refractors, gold-minted orange refractors, purple, and pearl white, which I believe is new this year. You can also get autographs on the Chrome cards as well. We have a little bit of a change to Beam Team, which is a change that I like. And now, instead of being so common, these are rare. They're actually a case hit this year. CFOs, Chief Fantasy Professionals, which is probably my least favorite insert of the whole lot. But we also have die cuts. Go in yard and you get autographs on these as well. Blaster boxes come with a little master photo that's like a box topper. There's 25 different versions of that. And in a hobby box, you're going to get two on-card autographs, one chrome and one triumvirate. And in the hobby compact, you get one autograph and one chrome or triumvirate. There are a bunch of different kinds of autographs that you can get, but the base autograph, is, which is what you're going to be hitting most often, has a 154 card checklist and that is vast let's go over real quick the good ones and we'll figure out how many good ones there are and how many ones you probably don't want one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So there's like around 36 out of 154 autographs that I would like to get. So that's like one in four and a half autos would be like, okay, that's not bad. But we don't know how many of each autograph there are for each player. And now getting into the good stuff. So we've got the three formats. Hobby, 140, Blaster, 25, and Compact, 80. Cards per, you're getting right here. The dollar per card, you can see green is good, red is bad. So it's 63 cents per card in a blaster box. The worst format would be a compact, which is $1.25 per card. Now, I didn't include every single parallel in here, but just so you can get an idea, we'll go through a few of them. And you can just get an overall view by looking at the green. So at the $25 price point, the blaster box is the best bang for your buck. It gets actually like a lot better when you get down to the bottom gold minted beam team which I think that's going to be significant. Beam Team, Going Yard, uh, those are really good odds. And the worst odds for a blaster are to pull an autograph, but we knew that. And as you can see, the autograph checklist, while there are quite a few good ones, and you can get autographs out of blaster boxes, it just costs you a little bit more. So the best dollar per auto is out of the hobby box, and the worst is out of blaster, and then kind of right in the middle is the compact. The first day issue comes out of the compact box, the easiest and purple foils only come out of the compact box. Black and white only comes out of hobby and compact and sepia. You can only get out of blaster boxes. There's not really a particular format that it stands out above the rest. Although blaster is a good value and uh, it's the best dollar per card for sure. And compact boxes, I think they might drop down a little bit. If these get down to like 75 bucks, I know it's only $5 difference, but to be 75 bucks would be like a sweet spot, I think, for these, if everything else remains the same. Because if it gets down to 70 boxes, the compact box is actually the way to go because the odds are the same, pretty much the same per pack on almost everything. So then you get to the point where the autographs would be the same price and you're also getting purple foil. So keep an eye out for that. If you find compact boxes dropping to be like $70 and hobbies 140, then you could jump on the compact boxes. And if you see hobby boxes dropping any lower, you can jump on hobby boxes. 
but Blaster is probably the best value all around, especially if you're not just chasing autographs. Then I decided to dive even deeper into the numbers and I wanted to find out how much of this they made. So the compact boxes, we can start with that because they have purple exclusives and let's skip all the nonsense math and get to the good stuff. How many boxes? About 47,000 boxes. This is approximate, but it's gonna be pretty darn close. So look at 2,988 cases. Something tells me there's 3,000 cases of this and about 3,000 cases of the hobby format as well. You can see how many cards there are per. It's about 3 million cards in total out of the compact. There's going to be, you know, about around 6 million cards in the hobby format. And the blaster format is going to be about 10 million cards. So there's going to be tons of blaster boxes around, although tons is relative. So if you compare it to series one, way fewer there's way fewer cards in a stadium club release than there is in a flagship series one series two update there's probably way fewer than there is even tops chrome so this is somewhat of a limited release you can see down here at the bottom i i did the math on the number of base cards as well so how many let's say like gunner henderson rookies are there these numbers aren't exact because i didn't subtract out the inserts and parallels and autographs there's not that many, but I did figure out these numbers. I'll show you in just a minute. But there's approximately 65,000 copies of each base card. So way, way, way less. And listen, these numbers might not be perfectly accurate. I probably made a bunch of mistakes in here, but I'm just letting you know what I found. And if you found a mistake, you can put it in the comments below. And if you're interested in how many of these inserts and variations do they have of each different player, well, I figured it out. The Chief Fantasy Professional, which is the, by far, they made the most of these. Uh, well, Velocity, they made a lot too. But CF Pros, there's around 20,000 of each of those. Chrome Cards, it's only a 90-card checklist, and there's only about 1,700 each of the Chrome Cards. Going Yard, we're looking at about 2,500 copies of each, and we're talking about each player. Triumvirate, we're looking at 6,841 of those. Velocity, 16,000. So in terms of rarity, CF Pro, there's by far the most, then Velocity, and then Triumvirates, then Going Yard, then the Chrome Variations. Let's get down here to Beam Teams. Like we talked about earlier, Beam Teams are much more rare this year, and I love that. There's only about 624 of each that exists, so these are going to be collectible. InstaVision, we're talking about about 1,500 of these should exist. And then we get down to 3D. They appear, I think they made... These quite a bit tougher too. I thought I remembered 3Ds coming out a little bit easier. There's only about 99 copies. They said 100, so about 100 copies of these exist. Then we get to the image variations, 200 of each image variation, 200 of each design variation, and then the rookie design variation, only 92 of those. And first day issue, 10 of those, 10 of each exist. All in all, 2023 Stadium Club looks like a fun release, and it's one of the more affordable on-card autographs that you can get as well. And you can go to your local retail stores and pick one up. Walmart, Target, they should all have it too. So good luck ripping. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all later.